the background was there was a, a united uh, coalition against war, and, and it was a action against the wars all of U.S. aggression. And so we went from the downtown area with about 100 people from City Hall to the federal building, the FBI building. We started at the recruiter's office and we ended up at M&T Bank where they got huge bailout funds and they received lots of money from the government and they also invested in war interests. So we were there protesting and it was peaceful the entire time, no problems. We weren't looking to cause any problems. That mm -hmm. wasn't our aim, that wasn't our goal. There hadn't been any conflict. We weren't gonna do property destruction, any harm to any people. We were just out there to speak our voice and uh, bring awareness to the issues and hopefully put some pressure on to make some change. And uh, the police came, they were called to get us off what is, what, from my understanding, and also if you look on the internet, is also uh, public property. Uh, Fountain Plaza was designated that way by Buffalo Place. And uh, they came to kick us off of there, and they got. We once we got off, we listened to what they had told us to do, uh, in which they ensued, and they put themselves in the middle of the crowd, and they wanted to break up the entire demonstration. Mm. Acting, but the one officer brought his taser gun out. Uh, you know, then they, another officer tackled me, brought me back up on up the property, maced me, clubbed me, all for practicing, <laughs> demonstrating for my First Amendment rights. And, uh, Um, well, so after we had a, we went through a year and a half after the actual incident, we've had a lot of pretrial, uh, they start off with 11 charges, a rioting, inciting a riot, a whole load of them, and since then we've dwindled it down to three, because it was like ridiculous, try to throw a book at you, once they realize you're going to fight it, then they reworked their statements three months later they, with the DA, they all rewrote their statements, uh, their lies, and, uh, and now it's just three, uh, resisting arrest, uh, obstruction of governmental administration and trespassing. So now we're trying to dismiss those in the furtherance of justice because we went to trial and uh, it was a mistrial. So now we're going to have to go to it again. And most of the times the DA gives a good plea deal or something like that, but the DA is not having any of those kind of things. So we're looking for a dismissal. So at, at right now, I just wanted to add that the, uh, the DA refuses to uh, prosecute election fraud which is, a, I think, a big deal, and it needs to be prosecuted. We need to look into that so that we can have fair elections. That's what our democracy here is supposedly based on. And uh, while he, he says he doesn't have enough money to prosecute election fraud, they got enough money to go after someone who's totally innocent, didn't harm anyone, didn't harm any property, was only exercising his First Amendment rights, and was arrested. The only reason the, the police really came in was to take away our First Amendment rights, our, our freedom of speech. Um, like, like he was saying, it was completely peaceful right up until the, the, the policemen came. And all we were doing we were was talking. We were talking and walking and it was completely peaceful when they came and it all, the only violence that was uh, perpetrated was by the police officers themselves, you know, and the only excuse really they, they had for doing it is because they didn't want, m and Bank didn't want people to know that they are war criminals and, and they've stolen, you know, money, taken money from the bailout from American citizens, uh, which is, they're the real criminals in, in this situation.